All right, we are at the final day for our full body weighted set. Um, we are gonna start with a 30-20-10 in the core. Um, if you don't do plank stuff, then just lie on your back. You can do glute bridges or you can do a dead bug um, to keep your core going or whatever works for you. If you need to keep your head supported on the ground, you can do heel lifts or a standing side crunch for our uh, side dips. So we're gonna do 30, 20, 10 of all of that. And then we're gonna go into a three rep weighted burpee um, between every other exercise, which is gonna be at 15 reps. So I've got my tens out, um, I think for the dead rows, I'm gonna use something a little bit heavier. Um, got my 20s. So uh, for your weighted burpees, um, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna use your weights to support your hands on. You're gonna jump back and drop into your push up. Push back up, jump in, curl the weights in before you stand all the way up overhead. If that doesn't work for you, no worries. You start hands here, you can walk back, walk back, walk in, walk in, drop your hips, curl, press. You can also just leave the weights on the ground. Um, another option is to hit up mountain climbers while we're doing the weighted burpees. You can also do, uh, let's see, an air jab. Just trying to get your heart rate up a little bit. Use weights or don't. Um, those are some options if you don't do the burpee. I'm gonna pick up my heavier weights for dead rows. From there, then we're back to our three uh, weighted burpees. Then we're gonna go into a curtsy lunge. Um, let's see, probably use my 20s again for that. Setting up your hips, squared off, drop and press. As always, you can go um, body weight if that feels better for you. So you're gonna go 15 each side, back to the weighted burpees, and then we're gonna do a back tap. So that will be a uh, back flat, hinging forward, straight arms, hands, uh, reach behind, and you're in control of that swing. All right, then we're gonna go back and start from the top. So let's go ahead and get down and hit up a child's pose. Big toes together, hand your hips back, shift those hips side to side, just settle. I'm already hot, <laughs> little sweaty, it's okay. Just settle a second, my nervous system relax. I get so excited and hyper sometimes over silly workouts. All right, come up onto your hands and knees, shoulders over the wrists, knees underneath your hips. Push the chest forward, slide your hips up, inhale deep, and then exhale and round. Tuck the tailbone under, grab deep into the abdomen, push into those hands, inhale. Push the hips forward, I'm sorry, push the hips up, drive the chest forward, and then exhale, tuck your chin and round. And we're only going two rounds of the burpee weighted set. And then if we have extra time at the end, I have a little bonus core set. We'll see how time treats us today. Inhale, drive forward, and then exhale and round. All right, we're gonna go ahead and hit up our body saw. So forearms are gonna come down. If going forward and back doesn't feel good for you, then don't, just hold your plank. You can always also stay on your knees, but here's the thing, if you stay on your knees, still get those hips tucked under and suck in that belly, grabbing underneath your rib cage. You wanna feel that core building and contracting. Okay, curl your toes under, get your shoulders up, hover forward and back, one. Flex your glutes. Belly strong. Good. 
Here's 10. Keep it in the abdomen as much as you can. It can take some time to build awareness in the core, but don't give up. You'll get there. Some days may be discouraging. Don't give up. Still so many benefits to be had, even just through one session. You may not see them, you may not feel them, but they're there internally, your body knows. Four, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna go into a side plank, elbow down, hips are up. 30 here. And it's Friday. At least here. There's 10. Eighteen. My obliques are still sore from Tuesday. I love it. Seven, eight, 29, 30. Oh, other side. Here we go. Push it up. 30. Drive your hips forward. Here's 10. Lift out of that oblique. Keep your back strong. Twenty. Twenty nine. Thirty. Back to the front. If you can, hopefully, got a break. Body saw. Five. Flex those glutes. Ten. We only have twenty this time. Hold on to it. Three, two, and one. Rotate over and then drive and drop those hips. Watch your top leg. Try to keep it straight. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 18, 19, 20. Ooh, I'm going a little fast. I want to get done. All right, open it up. One, two. Thirteen, fourteen. Open the chest, push through that oblique, 18, 19, 20. I'm gonna take a little second. You go if you can. I don't like how fast I'm going, I'm trying to get through. All right, final 10, forearms down. Here we go, body saw. 10, nine, Five, wrap those butt cheeks together. Feel the core engage. Two, and one. All right, 10. Side plank hip dips. Three, four, eight, nine, 10. Oh, switch it over, set it up, you got it. Four. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! We did it. Ah, nice job. Okay, 
three weighted burpees or your alternate. So remember, you do mountain climbers, you can do air jabs, um, you can do a TikTok plank, you can do a bird dog. Bird dog is your right arm forward, left leg back, just like that. Engage the core. All right, just three. Make sure when you jump back, core strong, shoulders over those wrists. All right, here we go. Ready, set, jump back, push up, squat in, curl, press. One, push up. Elbows are tight as you hit the push up. Here's three, and you're there. I like the three because you can uh, really keep form. I can really keep form. Keep those elbows tight and the push up deep. Okay, 15 reps for your dead row. Butt back, back flat, use the back. Keep your elbows close to the rib cage. Feel the rhomboids pull. Here's 10, we got five more. Contract your core. Make sure that upper middle back is flat. Two more. As you row those elbows, it's almost like you're pushing the chest forward a little more. All right, three. Weighted burpees. You can also always skip the weights. I think I mentioned that. All right, here we go. Plant your hands, jump back, push up, jump, stay low, curl, press. One. Jump in, grab deep, press through those heels. One more. Three. All right, 15 each leg of a curtsy lunge. Stay weighted. If you need to go body weight, that's fine. Our goal is to hit up weights this week though. So, screw off the hips, get that back leg crisscrossed behind, but you're still squared off. And I gotta find my positioning. Let's go, drop. Press, drop through the front heel, press up out of that glute. Embrace the burn, find the heat where you want it. Enjoy it, know you're getting what you came for. Be inspired by your drive. Knowing, step it forward, you are tough stuff. Other leg, twist it back, go. Eight, drive through that heel, feel the glute, inner thigh. Five, three, two, laugh through it, one, Woo. okay, three counts, weighted burpees, here we go, plant your weights, jump back, push up, Jump in, curl, press. Use your full body. Two. Gotta watch low back on the push up. Three. Oh, I'm gonna hold those ones. We're going 15. 
reps of a back tap. All right, shoulders back and down, hinge forward, belly strong. One, two, be in control, no swing. Feel your triceps and the upper middle back. More core, more core. 11. Push the chest forward. 13. 14. 15. Okay. There's one set. Weighted burpees. Set your weights. Core strong. Jump back. Use that tailbone tuck. Strong core. Watching the low back as you push up. Two. Three. Whew. Dead rows. Shoulders back and down, butt back, back flat. Remember, the weights come right on top of the thighs so the elbows can pull back behind you. Lift that chest. Upper back is working hard. 10, 13, 14. 15. Okay. Weighted burpees. Here we go. Plant the weights. Jump back, drop into your push up. Strong core. Drop, curl. Press one. Two. Three. So different if you get your butt low to curl in and then press up. Super duper important. Paying attention to that form. All right. I'm going to go left leg forward, right leg back. Square off your hips. Knee lines with the toe. Curtsy lunge. One. Drive to that front heel. Tall chest. Strong abdomen, push through that glute. Three, two, and one. Oh. Other side. Cut that leg back and then drop in. One. That front ankle right underneath the knee. Soft knee at the top. Twelve. Tall, tall chest. Stay strong everywhere else. Drive it in. Okay, three weighted burpees. It's a magic number on these guys today. Here we go. Belly strong. Jump back, drop. One. Two. 
to use the core. Three. Set my weights down. Gear up for back taps. All right, butt back, back flat. Let your weights kind of dangle out of your palms. Hinge forward, belly strong, straight arms, tap behind. The goal is to keep your body from moving forward and back. Feel your triceps. Feel that upper middle back. Lots of core. Gets a little bit everywhere. Three to go. Control your swing. Last one. All right. Weighted burpees. Let's do it. Squat low. Curl. Press. Belly, triceps, core, legs, press. One more. And press. Whew. All right. Nice work, nice work. We're going to lower down all the way onto your hips. Lower back. All right, make sure your weight's are still handy. Go ahead and grab one around uh, the sides. Push those hips up. So find your solid glute bridge first. Push into the heels. Pull the heels back towards your shoulders. So find the wrapping of the muscle to the bone. Use the weight to help contract and flex into the arms. Push into your right foot. Do not move it into the center. Lift the left leg up. Lower the weight overhead, barely touching the ground. Slide shoulder blades down and hold. 10, nine, find your core. Six, five, flex that foot. Three, belly strong, hips up. Set it down. Weight stays there unless you need a break. Nothing in your neck. We're lifting the right leg. 10, 9, 8. Find the back. 3, 2, 1. Back to the first leg. Bring your hands straight up over the shoulders. Lift that left leg now. Find a tricep. Hold. 10, 9, 8. Squeeze the elbows in as tight as you can. Three, two, one. Switch the legs. Stand up through the right leg. One, two, elbows right over shoulders. Squeeze them in. Four, three, two, one. Drop that foot. I don't think my hips are quite as high. <laughs> Drop the hips. Hug your knees into the chest. Super tight. All right, before we stretch, we're gonna do a quick V hold. All right, lift up your body and then find your balance with the knees bent for now. Let go of your legs if you can, arms straight ahead. Then slowly lift your legs, flex your feet, find contraction in through your low abdomen. Tuck and hold. Keep holding. Round through the back. Find that core, the low, low abdomen. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Don't put your feet down. Just bend your knees. Take a second here. 
Extend again. Put your hands together. Rotate to the right and the left. And the right and the left. Two more each side. Right, left, right, left. Put your feet down. If that grabs your low back, keep the feet down. Go right, left here. Wake up that core. All right. Pull your right knee into the chest. Oh, extend your other leg long. Slightly shorter set. But hopefully you were able to push to your max. I want to take a little extra time to stretch today. Drive that right knee over to the left and extend through that right shoulder. Belly strong. Still kind of contracting in the core because it kind of helps facilitate a deeper twist, at least for me. All right, come back to center. Pull the left knee into the chest and then twist over to the right. Twist, twist, drop it down. All right, back to center. Roll yourself up. <clears throat> Put the right leg into the inner thigh. We're going to lift our arms to center, lift up nice and high, then twist and head over that straightened leg. Pay attention to your gains, to your results. What can you lift that you couldn't lift? What can you push through that used to be super difficult? It may still feel tough, but now it's doable. That's a big thing. <clears throat> All right, extend the right leg out, the left leg in. Lift up high through the center, twist, and then extend over the right leg. Drop it in. Maybe you're noticing you can get better range. Hopefully you're recovering well. <clears throat> Remember your nutrition comes in as a huge, huge, almost, I would say, biggest player. <clears throat> Especially right now, if you're <laughs> doing these videos in real time, we're in the middle of the not awesome coronavirus. Put the soles of your feet together. Stretch through those hip flexors. So as simple as it sounds, eating a diet rich in vegetables, fruits, if those work for your system, uh, whole grains, so things that are very minimally processed. That will keep you and your immune system revving super strong. It'll keep your anxiety lower, your stress lower, your sleep better. <clears throat> More goes into it than just muscle, weight loss, and energy. So there's a lot of things going on deep inside uh, through that nutrition and all this weight lifting. All right, flip it over. <clears throat> downward facing dog slide into those hands hinge the hips back grab the core take another deep inhale and exhale open your feet nice and wide super wide and then walk your hands back keep that stretch All right, inhale, come all the way up. Great job. Let's keep the good times rolling. <clears throat> 